We belong to a family who forgives us. And this forgiveness that I'm talking about starts with God, our heavenly father, and Jesus, our big brother. Let's have an honest moment if we can. We're all repeat offenders, aren't we? Every single one of us. Like how many times over the course of your life have you sinned against God? Ooh, it's hard to put a number on, right? Let me make it easier for you. How many times this morning have you sinned against God? Still hard to put a number on, isn't it? Because here's the truth. As sinful, broken people, we sin against God repeatedly, day after day after day. We're all guilty of ignoring God and his world, day after day after day. Yet what does God do? He forgives time and time and time again. And the forgiveness that he provides for us, he provides at great expense to himself. I mean, this is the good news of the gospel, that as sinful people, we owed God a debt that we could not pay on our own. And so in grace and kindness, he sent his own son, Jesus, into the world to pay that debt for us so that it could be canceled. I love how Paul says it in Colossians chapter 1, verses uh, 23, and, or excuse me, 13 and 14, that when we were dead in our sins and trespasses, that God in and through Jesus Christ forgave us of all of our sins by canceling the record of debt that stood against us, and he did it by nailing it to the cross of Jesus Christ. Like, I need you to get this today. When you were hopeless and helpless in every way, unable to do for you what, what only God could do for you, God made a way in and through his son, Jesus Christ. That by his life, death, and resurrection, he did for you what you couldn't, and he came to pay your debt. And so in Luke 17, here's what he's saying. I just want you to do for each other what I've first done for you. That's all I'm asking. This is what I love about Jesus. He does not ask us to do anything that he has not first done. He said, man, just, just do what I've done. I have offered forgiveness to repeat offenders. And so what I want you to do is offer forgiveness to repeat offenders, which I know in our culture is a foreign concept, right? I mean, we live in the great United States of America where we cancel people. We don't forgive people. People sin against us, and what do we do? We ruin their lives. We shame them, and we guilt them, and we condemn them publicly, and we write them off. And Jesus goes, not in my kingdom. Oh, no, you want to be a part of my kingdom? That is not how we treat people. We do not cancel people. We cancel debt. And that is forgiveness. Forgiveness is debt cancellation. See, when you forgive someone, it is not you saying that what they did is okay. Please hear me. Some of y'all got to get your hands around this, okay? To forgive someone does not mean that you're giving them a pass. Oh, no, no, it's fine. No, it probably wasn't fine. What they did was sin and what they did was wrong and it, and it hurt you and it wounded you and it's okay for you to say that. To forgive someone doesn't mean that you're giving them permission to do it again. All it means is this, I am no longer holding it against you. 